<clears throat> in this video, we're going to talk about the angle properties of parallel lines. So this is a symbol for parallel. If you don't want to write out that word because you can't figure out how many R's and how many L's are in it, like me, then you can use that symbol. In this video, we're going to talk about the Z pattern, or it's also called the alternate angle rule. The F pattern, also called the corresponding angles rule. The C pattern, also called the co-interior angles rule, or and the uh, opposite angles rule. So first, let's talk about the Z pattern, or alternate angles rule. <clears throat> so if we have two parallel lines, and we know that they're parallel because they're marked, right? Uh, and then we have a line that intersects them. So this line that goes through both is uh, called a transversal. Interesting detail to know. And we're trying to figure out this. Uh, and, okay, so we have, that's what we have. And if we look into this image, we can find the letter Z. Okay, which gives us the Z pattern rule. Now within the Z, there are two angles. And the Z pattern rule says that the alternate angles or the angles within the Z are equal. So if this angle is 70 degrees, then this angle is also 70 degrees. Okay. Uh, we have the same lines. Two parallel lines, a transversal line. <clears throat> this is the F pattern. So if we look at the lines again, we can see this, you know, it makes the letter F. And it's talking about these corresponding angles in the F. So that if you think about the top line of the F and the bottom line of the F, the angle directly below the top line. These angles are equal. And we have the C pattern. Same thing. Sorry, they should be marked. So we have parallel lines. Um, and if we look, we also can see a C. So the angles that are within the C are the co-interior, so they're kind of inside the C shape, uh, are supplementary. And if we think about our last video, we know that supplementary means that those two angles added together will equal 180 degrees. And the last one. Uh, the opposite angles rule. So when you have two lines that, that uh, crisscross like an X, uh, you have opposite angles. So there's two sets of opposite angles here. He, so there's one set here, and there's one set here. So the opposite angles rule, opposite angles rule, or op, is that opposite angles are always equal. So if this angle is 65 degrees, so is this angle. If this angle is 120 degrees, so is this angle. And if you uh, were to eliminate this, you would know that this is a straight angle where it equals 180 degrees, so you would know that these two angles together would be supplementary and they would have to equal 180 degrees. All of these rules are there to help you to solve for a missing uh, angle and uh, so they're just giving you lots of different options on how to solve for that missing angle. 